I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. All right, we are going to go get me my first boat. I got my family up for a visit. They're hiding from the camera in the back. I have owned canoes, all kinds of stuff in the past. Canoes, paddle boats, little things, little pedal, whatever. But uh, never owned a motorboat. Let's go do it. Of course, one last quick stop. Can't buy a boat without some monies. I borrowed the boat for the Maine Wilderness Living Challenge and it was it was just so much fun having the boat going out there, setting the traps, the smell of the ocean. And it's been a long time since I spent all the time on the water when I was building boats. So now, get this, I could do that. Drop it in the lakes, drop it in the ocean. Maybe even get up to some striper fishing, all kinds of adventures that you can have with a boat. It's been a while since I worked in the boatyard, so I've been missing that uh, that part of my adventure. Going up to Ellsworth, and I uh, found this beautiful little skiff on Craigslist. Now we're gonna go get it, and then we're gonna go set out a trap so I can see if I can't catch some lobsters for my family. I got a couple alewife left from the uh, dip netting for the Wilderness Living Challenge. I'm gonna take those, see if we can't catch ourselves some lobsters. All right, we are here. Hi, puppy. Hi. 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 Oh, you got a beautiful dog. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. All right, Good. let's check out this boat. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Portsmouth Pointer, 14 foot skiff. Sounds like it ought to do what you want it to do, Zach. I think so. Yeah. It's got an older motor on it. I'll probably limp that along for this season and then upgrade it this winter or something like that, see what we can do. Hopefully she'll work for you. Well, I think this is going to work out beautifully. Great. I like the whole little center console idea. Take the plates off here. Yep, one and seven eighths. We've already been up here the other day to look at this. Uh, me and the girls came up to check it out. Got a nice little swim ladder so Abby can do her swimming off the side and uh, it just it feels like the perfect boat for what I want to do with the whole being able to throw some lobster traps off the side the fiberglass is pretty solid and uh, I can you know, put a sacrificial plate on the other side to be able to haul my traps and be able to put them in here it's about the same size as the one I used during the wilderness living challenge except for it's a uh, fiberglass and it'll be a little bit easier to rinse out too because this fiberglass all the way down through pull the plug rinse her out Maybe I'll even put a little um, extra bilge pump hose in so I can run water on purpose from the front right to the back when I uh, get out and I can put a hose over the side and clean. All right, there you go. Thank you very much. All right. That's yours. The German. boat is on trailer feels good it's just the right amount of boat where it's not too heavy for this car so I'm not gonna mess up my transmission and all that I'll be able to haul her in throw her in the water do some bass fishing go out set my lobster traps come back pull it out no problem that is awesome I'm so excited Are you guys excited yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> They're not excited to be on camera, so uh, let's go catch some lobsters. Yeah, she is. All right, help me with these lobster traps. All right, you got your life jacket? You ready to go? All right, well that's one way to break in a new boat. He did tell me that uh, she slides off the trailer easy. I'm used to using the carpets where you gotta back it all the way in and then you're pushing it off the trailer a little bit and you gotta get it just right when you're doing it all by yourself. I got her in though. Let's... Rugged test number one. All right, not too bad. Maiden voyage, center console kind of ripped out of it. Like when I dropped her off the trailer for the first time. I mean, she is an older, older, look at that, ah! She is an older boat and I paid for, uh, may need some TLC kind of price. what did you think? How was it first run out in the boat? Did you like it? Oh, we had fun. <laughs> Scary. Scary. <laughs> well, everybody else enjoyed ourselves enough. <laughs> Need some repairs. Let's get, uh, that's good for tonight. And we're gonna go do some repairs in the morning and uh, turn her into what I want her to be. Next time on I Bought a Boat, we gotta do some repairs if we wanna get back out on the water. And now is as good a time as any since the console broke off to make it super custom and a little more comfortable. Raising it up so we can get back out there catching the lobsters and having the adventures. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Fowler out.